The wait is finally over. I do have access to Sora, which I've been waiting for for so long, reading all about Sora. Every time I logged in, OpenAI simply kicked me out. But I finally was able to get and create an account and access all the information. And I cannot wait to try and explore this with you. I just want to create my first ever video and I want it to be fun. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. I hope and I really, really wish OpenAI doesn't take too long to create a video because I've not done it yet. I will be trying it out with you live. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we start exploring, I just want to make sure you are aware that Sora is currently available to Plus and Pro users. For Plus users, you have up to 50 priority videos and 1,000 credits. You can only have a five-second video. You know what? Honestly, that is enough for me, and your resolution is 720p. And for Pro users, you have all these fun capabilities, and you don't have to deal with the watermark. So you know what? Let's not waste time. Let's dive right into Sora. So here is my Sora interface that I've been waiting to look. On the left-hand side, I have the recent, featured, and saved. And here I do have an option to add or upload an image from the library, which I'm not going to do right now. And here I have presets, balloon world, stop motion, archival, film noir, cardboard and craft. So something like this. So if this is your original video, film noir some, looks like it's a cinematic view. And as you can see, it does say mysterious, suspenseful. And archival kind of looks very nostalgic, old in that cinematic old movie kind of look. And cardboard and paper craft is something like this. This could be useful if you're trying to create animations for your videos. And here I do have an option to change the aspect ratio of 16 to 9, 1 to 1, and 9 to 16 if you're creating some shorts. And here I do have an option to change the resolution. It clearly says that 1080p is the slowest one, 720 is the next, and 480p is the fastest, definitely because of the resolution. The duration, because I'm a plus user, I only have options between 10 seconds and 5 seconds. I'm going to leave it to 5 seconds for now. And as a plus user, the variation of videos are only limited to two. I can have two variations or one. You know what? I'm tired of this guy cleaning his face. Let me scroll down a little bit so you can see others. And here, a little question mark says text and image. Create a video by uploading an image to extend or by describing it with the text. And it clearly is mentioning the less you write, the more details will be filled in. The more you write, the more your direction will be followed. So it's telling you technically that Sora does have a brain and it will do the due diligence. Don't try to waste your time by putting in a lot of text. But you know what? We'll give it a shot. And the storyboard is more like creating, editing your mini videos. Let's click on storyboard here and let's take a look on what the storyboard is. This is more like an advanced editing tool allowing you to direct actions, write in sequences and fill in captions. Let's take a demo video and click on the storyboard to make it more sense. Oh, I'm going to pick this little video of a kid and I'm going to click view storyboard. And here you can see it gives you a timeline. And by spacing the cards carefully, you can control the transitions. And they clearly mention that give enough space so Sora can have time to transition. But if you make these cards too close, uh, your story cards, then the transition is going to be very abrupt. So this tool is more like a precise storytelling tool, letting you to tweak, describe actions, uh, create timings and visuals. You know, you can change multiple things. You can add your timeline. You can add, describe a scene. You can delete it. I'm not going to do anything right now. And you also have an option to change the presets here as well. Now let's go back and find something else. Let's click on the featured ones here and see what pops up. Well, this is so cool. This is unbelievable. Let me scroll down further. I see a tiger in Taj Mahal. I see a goose talking. Well, let's take a look at penguins in the desert. This is definitely a remix. So remix is, of course, the word itself tells you that you're mixing two videos into your Sora. I'm guessing this is another innovative tool that lets you transform two videos 
And let me quickly click on this Edit Remix. So, oh, this is the original video. And you are changing the text and making it into the penguin needs to look natural. It should be a king of penguins. Make it woggle like a normal penguin. And here you have an option of creating two videos or one video. You have the resolution and you also have option of picking how strongly you want to remix. You have an option to adjust and tweak how bold the transformation should be. Here you have the mild, subtle, and custom. Well, that's really cool. I'm guessing this was a strong remix. This is this is really cool. Let's go back and take a look at something else. Uh, ten, 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 ten. Let's go down. All of these videos are unbelievable. Well, look at this tiger flying. I wouldn't even click on it. Okay, here's another remix that I can see. This is a strong remix again. This is, I don't even know what animal this is. This is a goose, panda goose. Okay, it says a panda goose. When I click on this video, it tells me, give it wings swimming in the waters. I'm guessing this is also a remix originally, and they made it into another remix. Let's take a look at Recut and see what happens. So Recut is more like letting you trim, extend the videos. Or you can also import your videos by selecting a clip into the storyboard. When you can fine tune it, you, it's more like a transition video, the tool that lets you have a smooth transition, fill the gaps. And of course, it has all these features of changing the aspect ratio, the presets. And let me click on convert to text here. So when I click on convert to text, it's automatically converting the entire video into a storyboard where I can add more of these cards and create an entire story. That is really cool. Let's try one more. Let's click on this. Well, the prompt is completely in a whole different language. I do not know what this is, but when I click on blend, it's asking me to upload a video. Let me quickly upload a video and see what happens. I'm guessing blend is you're combining two videos into one. Well, there you go. Yeah, you are combining two videos into one. And this, I do a lot of Premiere Pro editing. So this one is just telling me the intensity of the blend, how I want it to, how, the, how I want the transition to be. And if I move this further up and down, it just shows the transition between these two. And let me uncheck. Do I have Control Z? No, I don't. I do have an option to blend curves, transition seamlessly flowing between the clips, merge the clips together, sample, um, you know, influence a primary clip with another. If you want one clip to overtake the other, you can just go ahead and pick. Basically, when you say blending, you're taking this clip and this clip and blending it into something like this. Now let's take a look at something else I've not seen. Let's see. Let's, I'm trying to see something really fun. Oh, this is cool. I've not tried loop yet. So when I click on loop, it says create a seamless loop of the video. And normal loop, short loop. So it's also telling me how I want. So I'm guessing looping is creating a continuous effect of the video. I do have an option to edit. So if I want this little clip running all the time, like continuously, then I simply move and adjust the length and I click if I want a short loop, normal loop or long, long loop, it feels like a tongue twister, and then I create loop. Something like this. You are repeating that video on a continuous loop. This is a flower. This is fire. This is staircase. This video goes on and on. And this is a wave. And now that we've seen everything, let's go back and take a look at the settings. When I click on the settings here, I do have video tutorials that I can take a look and get started. When I click on settings, I do have an option to publish all my videos to public. And I do have an option to turn off training the model. I'm just going to leave both of these because I just want to explore and see. I'm not going to be creating anything out of the box that does not need to be published. So I'm good with that. And when I click on this activity, it kind of tells me the video progress. 
and let's see if I missed anything. In here, it also tells you how many credits you have left before you create a video. So clearly I've not created anything and I'm really excited to create. You know what, let's quickly take a look at this video and see what the prompt is. A coral reef, every coral is bioluminescent, bioluminescent, casting, rippling light across. You know, let me just, this is really cool. I wonder why they don't give us an option to download the videos, which would have been fun. All right, now let's go ahead and create a video. I am really excited. So here I've just pasted, again, I used ChatGPT to come up with this out of the box uh, prompt for creating two majestic king cobras. Their hoods fully expanded in a dramatic display and they're trying to fight in a green luscious forest. And let's see what happens. And I'm, I have the aspect ratio of 16 to nine and I let my resolution to be 480, which is very, very minimal. And let's go ahead and click and create a video. I don't wanna create a storyboard. I just wanna create a video and just let Sora take its turn. It says it's been added to the queue. And I honestly don't know how long this is going to take. But it seems like the progress card is almost complete. And I'm hoping it doesn't take an hour or two. While it does its job, I really want to go ahead and explore other videos. As you can see, this is outstanding. Look at the cinematic look. Look at the quality. And oh, wow. You know what? Let's look at the storyboard here. Oh, it says Cobra Showdown and Rainforest is ready. Wow, let's take a look. <gasps> Ouch. Well, there's absolutely no action in this one. This pretty much feels like a uh, image. So let me go ahead, change it to something very simple. Remember OpenAI said, uh, Sora said, the less text, the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and create two majestic cobras fighting in the jungle. Um, let's say, while it's raining. And then let's try. All right, let's see, it's completely done and let's, ooh, ugh, ugh. Oh yeah, just, just like how OpenAI said, um, if I give less words, it's, Sora will do its magic. I mean, can you imagine creating, there was no way I could have done these with any editing skills that I had, even if I use green screen or not. Um, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And I do have an option uh, to share, to download, to loop. So this is really cool. Let's go back here and quickly take a look on all the videos that I've created. Well, this is Again, just giving you a quick heads up, this was a detailed prompt with no action. This was a minimal prompt and here is what I have. Unbelievable. Now let's go ahead and see how many credits do I have. I have 925 left, not bad at all, not bad at all. Now let's try one more. Crocodile eating ice cream on busy streets of New York. Um, Let's create a storyboard, why not? And here is a storyboard. Um, as you can see, Sora has changed things and it has given me this um, own prompts. And let me take a look here to see if I wanna edit something. Um, let's take a look on the first one. It says, in the busting streets of New York, a large crocodile with its rough green scales, um, Glistening in the sunlight sits contented on the sidewalk. It holds a large ice cream cone in its jaws, seemingly enjoying the big ice cream. That's good. And the crocodile takes another big bite of ice cream, causing a stir among the onlookers. It just takes a big bite of the ice cream. I'm just going to take off all of this. And um, I'm going to give it enough space. Yeah, you know what? This is good enough. And I'm going to create. It's been added to the queue. And let's see what happens and take a look at what people are creating while I'm creating mine. Oh, there you go. It says Crocodile's Ice Cream Delight. Ooh, there you go. Crocodile is taking a big bite from the ice cream. I see another little hand or something popping up. 
but this is really cool. The capabilities of artificial intelligence is outstanding. And I also see that this person is crossing the crocodile like it's very common in the streets of New York, honestly, which is probably common because it's New York. Anything can happen. And I see a little overlap of the ice cream and the jaw of the crocodile, but I can't ask for more. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Really, really cool. I'm really enjoying creating and editing videos. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did while I was creating those king cobras and crocodiles. Don't judge me. I somehow use snakes and crocodiles while I'm creating my images and my videos. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. And if you have a chance to explore Sora, do not miss it. Go ahead, explore, have fun. And like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.